The World Cup trophy is the most prestigious prize in the football world. Since the advent of the World Cup, two trophies have represented victory. In 1928, FIFA made a decision to stage an international football tournament as initiated by the FIFA president, Jules Rimet. He appointed French sculptor Abel Lafleur to design a trophy to be awarded to the winner of the inaugural edition held in 1930 in Uruguay. The gold trophy was designed to include the shallow, octagonal cup, supported by upraised arms of a winged figure representing Nike, the ancient Greek goddess of victory, with a blue base of lapis lazuli. It stood 35 centimeters in height and weighed 3.78 kilograms. The winner of each tournament could keep the trophy for four years. The first team to win the tournament three times was allowed to keep the trophy in perpetuity. The first holder of the trophy was Uruguay, winner of the 1930 World Cup. The 1934 World Cup was held in Italy in the time of Benito Mussolini. The dictator hoped to use a victory at the World Cup to further the glory of his own regime. By making absolute maximum from natives of another country with Italian parentage, bribing referees and threatening players of other countries, the Italians clinched their first World Cup. At the 1938 French edition, the Italian team faced Hungary in the final. Just to make sure his players were fully focused on winning, Mussolini sent each of them a telegraph, which simply read, "Vincere o moria," means "win or die." Fortunately, the Italians retained their trophy. The World Cup tournament was suspended for 12 years due to World War II. Near the end of the war. The Italian vice president of FIFA, Antonio Barassi, hid the trophy in a shoebox under his bed to prevent the Nazis from taking it. After the war was over, FIFA renamed the trophy as Jules Rimet Trophy in 1946 to honor the former FIFA president. The World Cup made its comeback in 1950. The trophy was kept in turn by winners for 16 quiet years. Several months before the 1966 World Cup in England was scheduled to kick off, the trophy was stolen during a public exhibition at the Methodist Central Hall, Westminster. The trophy was found just a week later in the bush in South London by a dog named Pickles. His owner, David Corbett, was awarded thirty thousand pounds and Pickles several pieces of bone. Then their life of a celebrity began. In 1970, the Brazilian team won the tournament for the third time after their victories in 1958 and 1962, allowing them to keep the trophy permanently. Thus, FIFA had to commission a new trophy before the 1974 World Cup. 53 submissions were received from sculptors around the world. In May 1971. Italian artist Silvio Gazzaniga was awarded the task of designing it. It depicts two athletes spiraling out from the base to hold the earth in their hands. The trophy stands 36 centimeters and is made of five kilograms of 18 karat gold. It has a space for 17 plaques detailing the winners, and the space will not run out until 2038. Up to now. The trophy has been presented to captains of six national teams from West Germany, Argentina, Italy, Brazil, France, and Spain. FIFA's regulations now state that the trophy, unlike its predecessor, cannot be won outright. The original Jules Rimet trophy kept in Brazil, however, did not stay in glory as his replacement. The cup was stolen in 1938 from the headquarters of the Brazilian Football Confederation. This had been the third time it was lost. The Brazilian government offered a high reward to break the case, but the trophy has never recovered. It is widely believed to have been melted down and sold away. Finally, the Brazilian Football Confederation made a gold-plated replica of the trophy. Nowadays. The World Cup 2014 is in full swing, and there will be a new champion's name on the trophy.